out there tonight. We're really excited. You know, we had a great crowd. Temple brought about 33, 32 of the 33,000 people were Temple fans. We had over 10,000 students there. And it was a great night in the link. You know, it's what we talked about, having a great rivalry game in Philadelphia. Marist Cup, filling the link. Great night for college football. So that was all terrific. And we told our team going into this game that our goal in the game was to play physical, play tough, okay, be relentless to the ball. And those are the things we wanted to get accomplished and play like a team. I thought that happened. I thought we played physical, physical brand of football. And I thought that uh, we played as a team. We tried to complement each other. When one side was down, the other side picked it up. I thought that was exciting and it was good to see. I didn't feel, I didn't set an expectation of how many points we'd score. I didn't set an expectation on how clean we'd play in terms of execution. It's game one. I wanted to get the tempo set for what kind of team we were going to be. On offense, we faced nine-man boxes and, and we ran the ball effectively. We rushed for over 300 yards. We had 362 yards, 300 rushing. I would say the passing stat is the one that we would have liked to have been better at. We had some third and threes and fours that we just kind of uh, didn't execute on. We should have, and we didn't. Those cost us from converting drives. Our time of possession was over 30 minutes, you know, and us, and, 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 and that's our brand of football. We want to play great defense. We want to do really well in special teams. Okay, we want to dominate in special teams. We want to be able to run the football. I thought we did that. On defense, we let up some big plays, but we also had some electric plays. You know, we had four sacks, a fumble, and an interception for a touchdown. Those are game changers. That happened, and that's exciting to see. We got to clean up the big plays on defense. We got to throw the ball better on offense, and we just need overall more consistency. But for night one, with a young team right out of the box, uh, I, felt, I felt that we got accomplished what we wanted to get accomplished. You know, Villanova's a very much improved football team. They're still a young team. Uh, they have talent on that team, and I'm sure they're going to go on and have a very good season. They're going to continue to grow as a program. You can see that, and see the improvement there. I wish them nothing but the best as they roll forward in their season. And certainly, now that we're done playing them, we root for Philadelphia teams. And that's a, that's a good thing. Okay? Uh, so, any questions? Talk about Matt Brown. Matt Brown had a heck of a night. He was a typical Matt Brown tonight, you know? He was a warrior out there. He's just relentless punt returns, kickoff returns, running the ball, spinning. I mean, he's gassed. He was gassed at halftime and came back out kept going. That's what that guy brings to the table. He's a competitor, so I'm real proud of Matt Brown. So you're proud of the offensive line as well. You had talked on Tuesday that you were looking at your offensive line in particular. Did they do what they were supposed to do? 300 yards? Not bad. Well, I felt like they, they gave us effort. I don't. I feel like we got to get we got to get clean. we got to finish blocks. I thought they protected well when we did throw it, which wasn't often. Um, and I felt like they're, at times I thought we looked good, but you know, I think we got we got a ways to go. You know, I think that uh, this preseason camp, I had to back off a little bit because we were so thin and, and without a lot of depth. But I also felt that I noticed that we were, you know, we were fighting through it, but we were a little gassed out there. And uh, you know, that's a byproduct of that, I think. So this was a, this this was a much needed game for us, and we had to go play a game. See what's wrong with Montel? You know, Montel going into the game had a strain uh, in his hamstring, and uh, you know, and, and so. You know, I didn't, we didn't really plan on playing him too, too much in this game. And, uh, you know, we pulled him out of the game because it was sore. And so that, that's what happened. I mean, it's a shame he had such a terrific camp, you know, just a terrific camp. But these things happen, and he's fine. He's just going to, you know, just uh, fight. You know, he's, he's, he's a competitive good guy. Now, he was going to go tonight. But you can see on the one time when he went to pull away, he, you know, he felt it right there. And that was it. I wanted to shut him right now. You think he'll play next week? I would think so. You know, I would think so. I mean, that, that was the whole reason why we shut him down. I mean, they did a good job with that. I don't know who gets credit with that. You know, I mean, I just think that, you know, that's a good thing. Not having a lot of penalties is a good thing. Um, my, my, my thing that I'm, if I had to be critical, I'd be critical. I feel like we need to do a little better job finishing blocks. Finishing blocks. And that comes from youth and inexperience and really from playing a full game like that, flat out. You know what I mean? Um, so, I'm, you know, I'm, I, you know, you point that out to me. Actually, I'm just processing that right now. I didn't think about that, but that's a good thing. You know, and, 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 and that's glad to see. There's not a lot of sloppy holding penalties and things that really are byproducts sometimes of fatigue. Steve, look like early in the second quarter when you got the back-to-back -back scores. Yeah. Um, you know, the game was tight at that point, but that seemed to give you some momentum. Can you talk about the uh, impact that that had on the game? 
I think the interception was huge. You know, that was a big, big turning point in that football game. I mean, the opening drive was you couldn't have scripted it any better. That was power football at its best. We wanted to do that. We did it. I was really excited about that. And then we had those two series where we went three and out, and we really had great. We had, you know, we had it third and threes, third and fours. We had some good runs. It wasn't you know, there. Just we just didn't convert on those. And that was bothersome right there. We got in that little bit of a lull, so that interception came right back on us and, 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 and whipped us right back in. So that was an important momentum turn. But our whole philosophy is if you keep battling, you keep fighting, you keep playing hard, you're going to create those things that are going to happen. So. See, you kept mentioning, I can't feel the bump now. It was time to get you victims. Yeah. How, how far has he come from where he was when he first got victims? Well, I mean, he's just really grown and matured, you know. He was a real immature guy and uh, had a hard time with tough coaching, accountability, and all those other things that young guys have a hard time with. But uh, he's turning into a fine football player right now, and it was really exciting to him. You know, I was really happy for him because uh, that guy goes hard. He makes plays in practice, and uh, that's Vaughn that's Vaughn Carraway, you know. And I had to yank him off the kickoff team because he was gassed, and, you know, I miss him because I think he's the, one of the top guys on that kickoff team. He goes down the field like, uh, you know, like crazy. I mean, he's a full throttle football player. So, you know, keep knock on wood. He keeps doing the right thing because uh, he'll have a nice, have a nice season for us. What was about the hit that your quarterback had on that Villanova linebacker? <laughs> I get I caught that on the jumbotron or something like that. I, mean, uh, I probably don't need to be doing that too much. You know, what I mean? <laughs> uh, you know, he takes enough shots. But, uh, you know, these, our kids are tough kids. They're competitive kids, and, you know, it's hard to take that away from a guy, but probably rather not see him do that too much too much more, you know. How did Boyer lead your team tonight? He did a great job. He, he did a great job. I thought he played well. You know, I thought that uh, he was tough. He was he had leadership in there. He not flappable. You know, did, did, a, did a really nice job, you know. Um, you know, probably I, I probably would have liked to uh, – this is on me. It's no one else, you know. I put the clamps down on it. Wanted to run power football. Wanted to run the ball. Probably, you know, would have liked to have opened up the throw game a little bit more. But you know, it's just the way I am. Did you kind of purposely scale things back and not show as much as you normally would with the games? Well, yeah. I mean, we, you know, two things. You know, one, we've spent all preseason camp against our defense, which is a four-down team. We didn't spend all camp on this three-down stuff kind of tried to get ready late with that. So we wanted to be kind of more basic against that. We wanted to play power football against that. You know, it was three down linemen. They tried to play some four down linemen in there a little bit. But three down linemen, you know, we just figured, hey, you know what, we're going we're gonna to gonna power them up. We did that last year too, you know. And uh, so it's a little bit more vanilla, without a doubt. And uh, so I told you, I came out here today, I want to get something established, to be honest with you, okay. I want to establish that, you know, that toughness, that I just want to see that, you know. I just want to see us have the ability to go after them and smash mouth them a little bit. And, you know, that's my call, you know, and that's what I wanted. So that's what we did. Um, but we uh, we really carry a pretty wide open offense right now, and I would suspect that it'll become much more of that way next week. Do you want the series with Villanova renewed? Sure, it'd be great. I've, I've said this several times. I I think it's great. I mean, what's wrong with this? You play a non-conference game against a Philadelphia team. There's 33,000 people, and it's a heck of a deal. I mean, I. I don't know. They get on the bus. They drive over. I mean, there's not a lot of travel expense. I mean, I, I think it's uh, good for the city. It's good for college football. So I'm all for that. So the second quarter, you had that fourth and two. You might kick the field goal there. Yeah. Right? So you to go. Yep. I mean, I probably should have kicked the field goal, but I just kind of got that mindset right there. It's fourth and two. We're gonna go get two yards. And normally, you know, I'd run power football right there, but I wanted to run an option. And uh, I thought it was a great call by Ryan Day. We just didn't execute it right. It was the right call at the right time. He just didn't execute it right. And that's part of the stuff that we got to work on right now. So it was the right thing to do, I guess, you know, um, for demeanor, for demeanor. But we got a lot of confidence in our field goal kicker. We really do. So that was, you know, I mean, that's, that's a real makeable field goal for him right there.